oceans cover about 70% of the Earth's surface. And despite all the time we have spent exploring, we have just covered about 5% of the deep ocean, and the rest remains unexplored. As the resources on Earth deplete and the danger of deteriorating the natural balance increases, scientists have started working on finding alternatives in the deepest depths of the oceans. The world's oceans have always been the basis of life on Earth, in the form of climatic reserves with fisheries, aquaculture, trade and tourism and transport. Their depths are also a store of unknown wealth like minerals which are important for human life and may come in handy in the long run. Keeping this in mind, the United Nations has declared the decade from 2021 to 2030 as the decade of ocean science for sustainable development. India is one of the few countries that have been undertaking ocean missions in their bid for sustainable development for a long time. The cost of the mission has been estimated at 4,077 crore rupees over a five-year period and will be implemented in phases. The estimated cost for the first phase for three years is 2,823.4 crore rupees. Oceans contribute 5% to global GDP and provide livelihood to 350 million people. Using ocean resources for economic growth and improved livelihoods while preserving the health of the oceans is called Blue Economy, which is now being given a lot of emphasis. About 30% of India's population lives in the coastal areas along the country's 7,517 km long coastline and largely depends on these oceans for livelihood. This makes India's Blue Economy mission vital. The deep ocean mission will only strengthen this. The six main components of the deep ocean mission include development of technologies for deep sea mining and manned submersible, development of ocean climate change advisory services, technological innovations for exploration and conservation of deep sea biodiversity, deep ocean survey and exploration, energy and fresh water from the ocean and Advanced Marine Station for Ocean Biology. Under the objectives of the Deep Ocean Mission, the study and survey of minerals present below 6,000 meters in the sea will be done. Potential sites of minerals such as multi-metal hydrothermal sulphides in the mid-oceanic ridges of the Indian Ocean will be explored and identified. Climate change and the rise in sea level, including deep sea changes, will also be studied. Bioprospecting of deep sea flora and fauna, including microorganisms, and sustainable use of deep sea bioresources will be studied. Currently, only America, Russia, France, Japan, and China are capable of such a campaign. India will be the sixth country in the world to undertake a deep ocean mission and will have to develop the technology itself. Therefore, under this campaign, that is to be completed in two phases, along with the development of ocean technology, skilled human resource in marine biology and marine engineering will also be created. The country's leading institutions and private industries will get a new opportunity in the development of indigenous technology that is required for mining in the oceans. The development of small and medium enterprises and startups will be accelerated due to the establishment of necessary infrastructure for the design, development and construction of equipment and ships. This will lead to increased employment opportunities. That is why this is a huge step towards building a self-reliant India with a blue economy.